David, I went to Dr. David. That was uh, compiled on behalf of applicant number one, Mr. Obokeng Stephen Mokele. Mr. Mr. Oberking, uh, Stephen Mokelis, can you stand up, sir? Excuse me, sir. I'm, I'm talking to your client, sir. Ah, sorry, Applicant sir. number one. Mr. Mokelis, you, you confirm the content of this affidavit? Yes, sir. Right, good. You confirm that you do not have any, uh, and you do not have any previous convictions? You, do you confirm that you do not have any previous convictions? Yes, I do not. All right. As I see on the affidavit, you say there is a pending case. Yes, sir. Okay. And that's all. Only one case. Yeah. Right. If you provide me false information, we charge the criminal offence. Do you understand? Yeah, okay. Right. Thank you. You may you may sit down. Whatever you say, whatever you said in the subject, David, might be used against you in subsequent trial. Do you understand this warning? I understand. Thank you. So. I right. The right. affidavit is in the record marked as exhibit A. Accused number two is not here. We go to accused number three. That will be applicant uh, number two. Mm -hmm. Accused two mm -hmm. has subsequently is here, yes. but uh, his counsel have just arrived. All right. And where the is the where is the, in his head. He's also interested in bringing an application for pay. Yes. Can you move very fast? Where do you, can you move to where, where the mic is, please? There is another mic. There is a moving mic. We've got a mic. Uh, Advocate Creek, can you just allow a, a, a counsel quickly to proceed? Yeah. Just move to the side quickly so it can move very fast. There's a moving, there's a moving mic that we have. Yes, proceed, can, proceed, sir. Can you proceed quickly? Yes. And uh, the I just read the affidavit now quickly. I went through the affidavit. Is there, is there anything else that you wish to add to this affidavit? The, the, the allegation is that this matter, uh, the, the, in fact, this, in, this, in respect of this matter, the offence were committed uh, prior to the, her appearance in the Palm Ridge Court. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, that's fine. Right, thank you. Applicant number two, Ms. Sibyl Nomse Novo. Do you confirm the content of the affidavit? Whatever you said in the subject of it might be used against you in subsequent trial. Do you understand? Right. Do you confirm that you do not have any previous convictions? You only have this pending case that is running at Palm Bridge Court. 
All right, thank you. Whatever, or if you provide me the first information with regard to your previous conviction and pending cases, you may be charged with a criminal offense. Do you understand this warning? Thank you, Mr. 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 Down. All right, thank you. We go now to applicant number three. Mr. Raman of Yes, thank you. May I proceed, Councillor? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I've gone through the affidavit, but I see the affidavit that has been added, uh, handed to me. The deponent has not yet signed, and, and yes. the, the commissioner for yeah, you have the original affidavit. May, may I please request that you return that uh, so that you can put his signature on you see now. <laughs> we are, we are, can, can't tell you are starting on a wrong foot. But, but, uh, you know, these the shortcut yeah. things, they don't work with me. I, I'm not a person who allows shortcuts, you know, and that's you, that's you want him now to, to, to take an oath now in, in, in front of the public and everybody here. Right. Okay. In respect of your applicant number three, the veteran will stand down. Let's continue applicant number four. You'll do it at the right time. Not now. Let's move, move quickly. I'd like. All right, thank you. Applicant number four. Thank you. Proceed. You That's for Dr. Ab Abul Rahman, not so. Thank you. Proceed quickly. I've read the affidavit. Uh, and uh, is there anything that you wish to add? Your Worship, I would just like to put your attention to paragraph 13. Yes, uh, thank you. Um, health issues, um, especially if we have a look at um, 13.5, yes. um, well, we should, my client does have some issues to understand um, some of the, let's say, questions that's put to him, mm -hmm. um, so I would just like to put, to put that under your attention at this stage. Um, do you worship at the moment, the issue at the moment is with the amount of wealth. Mm -hmm. um, my client has indicated to me that he has 20,000 rand available for well, and um, you will note that it was left open in, the, in that particular affidavit, mm -hmm. uh, but that is because it's up to the discretion of the court, obviously, um, and his, what I'd like to, to put the, under the court's attention is uh, the health that, uh, situation that he's in, and his ill health is obviously contributing to the fact that he does not have um, funds available for um, a trial or for two ballots at this stage of more than 20,000 All right, Dr. Abu Rahman, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can I maybe just assist him? Yes, assist please. Him. Thank you. Your Worship, can you stay seated? Yeah, I can stay seated. Okay. Yeah, you can hear me. Okay, Dr. Abu Rahman, do you... Do you confirm the content of this affidavit? Whatever you've said in this affidavit might be used against you subsequent trial. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Do you have any previous convictions? Can you want somebody to switch off that music? Yes. All right, thank you. Uh, the warning is that if, if you provide me first permission, we will charge the criminal offense. Okay. Yes. I just want him to confirm that because the act says I must explain to him. Okay. All right, after that, we receive the record marks for the weekly. Thank you. Thank you. Applicant for accused number three, are you ready now? Yes. Applicant number three, can move quickly then. Give me that after that, that I've read that is now been commissioned and has been signed by the deponent. Where is the deponent? Where is the deponent? Stand up, sir. You confirm that you have signed the affidavit and, uh, you, and you've taken an oath confirming the content of the affidavit. Yes. Right. Good. Uh, 
Do you confirm that you do not have any pre uh, previous convictions nor any pending cases? Yes. All right. Uh, whatever you've said, Mr. Peter, it might be used against you in subsequent trial. Do you understand? Yes. You received the record marked as a big D. Thank you. Anything to add, sir? Uh, there is it much except uh, the amount of bail that has been suggested. The accused only has an amount of bail that has been rendered new. Uh, he is out on bail in a pending matter, which is also interrelated to this. Mm -hmm. And the charges that are in that matter, I see uh, the amounts are duplicated also in this particular case. So basically, <laughs> well, well that's, that's the matter for the trial court to deal with it at the, time, at the appropriate time. <laughs> okay, that's what we mm -hmm. Yes. Is there anything else? Nothing All right, thank you. We go now to applicant number five, Ms., uh, Mr. Brian Tansang uh, Chong uh, Chongba, Council. Hey, please, the formula. We've forgotten now. I know. Here, my case number five in this matter. We've also submitted. Yes. All uh, right. Is it right, Mr. Shlongwa, Mr. Brian Tamsanga Shlongwa, can you stand up, sir? Do you confirm the content of the by David? Yes, I do. Uh, you've uh, right, thank you. Whatever you've said, Mr. David, I see that you dealt yes, with sir. the merits of the matter. Whatever you've said, Mr. David, might be used against you subsequent trial. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All uh, right. Uh, uh, do you confirm that you have no previous convictions, no any pending case? I do confirm. Right. If you provide a first permission, you'll be charged with criminal offence. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, I do. The David will receive the record marked as exhibit E. Cancel is there anything else that you wish to add? The bill should say for the amount which we have addressed that we have done about this. This is saying my client has 10,000 rent available for bail, considering that they have not obtained their assets to 2014. It is that is when this bail application. Well, uh, there's always a saying that the, the wheels of justice sometimes grind very slow. This time but, the same, uh, but there is, there is an end now. I think you should, you should be pleased that there is now lighting the other end of the tunnel. He, he the kids is moving. He is in okay. <laughs> so is my colleague <laughs> from the stage. Uh, Right, we move to count, uh, applicant number six. Right, <coughs> Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Council. Let me sit down, sir. I'll tell you when you stand up, okay? All right, thank you, Council. Thank you, Council. I'll clear for the purpose of the bail yes. for accused number six. Yes. In the case as a whole, for six, ten, and eleven, for ten and eleven on the, the corporates, there's no point here. Yeah. Yeah. The affidavit has been submitted, Your Worship. Yes. I submit that a case has been made out of the that it's in the interest of justice that the accused be released on bail. We have tendered the amount that the state has asked for of 50,000 rand, so that's non-contentious. All right, thank you. And I believe the state will uh, indicate that a passport, his passport should be acted in. We agree with that. Uh, there are no reporting conditions asked for by the state. Mm -hmm. We think we submit that they are not necessary. And the state may submit that uh, you may not travel outside of the country uh, if you can't do that unless you hand it in your passport. We'll hear what the state have to say about travel. But on balance, we say we've made our case. All right, thank you. Mr. Uh, Lolana, do you confirm the content of the uh, subject? Uh, and uh, you confirm that you do not have any previous convictions nor any pending cases? All right, but whatever you said, Mr. David, might be used against you in subsequent trial. Do you understand? And if you have provided your first information with regard to your previous convictions and pending cases, you may be charged with criminal offence. Do you understand? Thank you, mate. Yes. Sit down. This is for David to receive the record marked as exhibit F. Thank you. Applicant number. Okay. Didn't see the. Okay. Number seven. Accused number seven. Accused uh, number seven yes. is not here. Uh, let me see. Number seven is not here. Okay. Yes. We move now to uh, number eight. Miss uh, 
Mr. Manga, the rain event delay, let's proceed. Thank you, Councillor. Your Worship, I'm hearing on behalf of Accused Number 8. Yes, thank you. For purpose of Bail 8, 16 and 17, also attached, Accused Number 8, Mr. Manga, 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 Mr.
that the accused may, uh, 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 in case should they be convicted, which is a, a life sentence. <coughs> and further, Your Worship, we are requesting that uh, should the court grant the accused bail, the following conditions be set, that they hand over to the investigating officer, Colonel Motedi, all their traveling documents, and that no international travels must be undertaken, and that they must report interprovincial travels to the investigating officer. Thank you.
court case judgment. This is an application for bail brought by the applicants who have been charged with various counts, including ch ch charges that are contravention of the Prevention of Organized Crime Act. They are applying for bail and they've uh, adduced evidence by way of affidavit. The respondent is not opposed to bail and also adduced evidence by way of an affidavit. I have considered the evidence that has been adduced by the applicants as well as the evidence that has been adduced by the respondent. The act is very clear, section 11, section 60, section 11 of the act provides that uh, an accused person who is charged with an offense that is categorized under Schedule 5 bears on us to prove on the balance of probabilities after using evidence that interest of justice required the release on, on pay in the interest of justice, obviously. And the applicants, if they've done so, evidence shows that they are not a flight risk. They've handed themselves over to the police when requested to do so. And the, there is no evidence that they might interfere with the, with the witnesses, directly or indirectly so. And therefore, they have satisfied the requirement of Section 60, Section 11 by using the evidence and that the interest of justice requires at least on bail. Therefore, bail is granted to all the applicants in the, in the amounts as follows. Accused number one, bail is granted an amount of 20,000 rands. Accused number two, bail is granted an amount of 20,000 rands. Accused number three, bail is granted an amount of 20,000 rands. Accused number four, bail is granted at an amount of 25,000 rands. Accused five, bail is granted an amount of 20,000 rands. Accused six, bail is granted an amount of 50,000 rands. Accused eight, bail is granted an amount of 50,000 rands. Accused nine, bail is granted an amount of 50,000 rands. On the following conditions. One, the accused must appear on the date and at the place to which the matter may be adjourned and to remain in attendance until excused. Two, that the accused must hand over their passports to the investigating officer, Colonel Tabo Amos Emoteri. Three, the accused must not leave the Republic of South Africa without the permission of the investigating officer, Tabo Amos Emoteri. And if indeed the investigating officer does not uh, want to listen to the application, they are free to come to court, and the court will invoke the provisions of section 63 of Act 51 of 1977 and listen to the application for the amendment of the bail condition. Do you all understand? Thank you. As the court, please, go to your worship. Your worship, the state applies that this matter be adjourned to 22 April mm -hmm. 2022 to secure the attendance of accused number seven, who also represent accused number 12. Okay. Right, thank you. Uh, is the date? 22nd April 2022. Is the date suitable to the legal penalties? Yeah. This matter adjourned until 22 April 2022, Court 23 Johannesburg, uh, for further investigation. Uh, all of the accused are in custody. The bill fixed at the amount as stated. Pay will hear the leg of the court of John the prison. As soon as they deposit an amount that has been fixed, they will be released and must appear in this court for 23 Johannesburg, 8 8 in the morning. Fail to do so will run no run for the rest of the and the bill money for future the state. Do you all understand? Can you stand up? Do you all understand? Do you all understand? Yes. Right. Can pay your bail here yeah, the tell the court to join the prison as soon as they pay the bail, you will be released and must appear in this court 22 April 2022.
8.30 in the morning. Fill that do so with blood never run for us, motorized, in a bail money for people's sake. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Day 50. And I don't cancel them. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Your Worship, we believe of the court if we can keep the J15 mm. for safety.